Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Oh, I actually forgot about the curse of that time, <laughs> but not not entirely. All right, Tiny, I think is going to be the hardest one to use out of this. You know, like the old club champs. But I'm going for it. Versus Yoshi, and I, yeah, I think Yoshi's actually has the better shot because he's got a lot more control over stuff. So yeah, Tiny Greens. Dunes course, Tiny's home course, 18 of course, has to be match play, back tease, begin, and here we go. Now this is what I mean about Tiny, his uh, impact area is pretty small, so it's a thing of that I've got to be pretty accurate on the power gauge, and that was perfect actually, <laughs> holy jeez, uh, but yeah, the, if I don't hit good on the gauge, but the ball is just not going to react to where I want it to go and it might end up, might end up in waste area or behind the cactus or something like that. So despite the clear drive distance difference between us, I think Yoshi is in better position than I am because, because of the way his character is built. Like look how wide his impact area is, that will greatly help on all sorts of different lies and situations. Although, you know, with computer AI, it might not matter. I mean, I raised Neil to be incredible, and, well, he, he just does not know how to use those stats. Um, I'm gonna go under the ball, and I'm gonna try to land it somewhere near the hole and super backspin it, because the green is rolling away from me. So I'm going to have to hit it past the hole at first and then bring it back with backspin, but that miss hit's going to cost my idea. <laughs> See, that's what I mean about his miss hits. They're pretty, pretty wide. I've played as all the game's characters before. That's how I know this stuff. But uh, it's just a thing of how well, I mean, how much will it actually affect the overall game? And well, well, it's certainly not affecting my game that badly. Um, uh, well, that's similar to what happened to my other putt on that other, like, the last part where I ended up hitting, uh, I mean, didn't hit it too far, I mean, hurt, didn't hit it hard enough to the right because of all that slope and stuff that confused me and the arrow transition and everything. Oh, look at that! <laughs> oh, oh, Yoshi. It's just disaster zone already. Actually, no, it's too early in the match. I could always miss it and end up behind the cactus and he can get a birdie, who knows. Uh, what I will do though is try and play things as safe as possible. That's really all that I can ask of myself. Ooh, now I'm feeling good with the impact area. Maybe because I'm focusing more because I know how badly Tiny's impact area is. Oh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> well that's not exactly what I was going for there. I thought I was going to carry it to the top, but it didn't. Eh, well, with his powerful drive distance, I should be able to make something out of that, so... We'll see if I have to worry about that when the time comes. Yoshi, however... He did not really get anywhere with that drive, did he? Uh, oh, I thought that was going to hit that cactus. <laughs> it's getting, like, rough over there. Yeah, it's going to bounce over the waste area. Uh, I don't want to hit a, th a, th a three wood out of that because the impact area. Look at that, it's minuscule. You hit something like that out of there, and it is. If you if you miss it even the slightest bit, you are screwed. I'm gonna try and top spin it up that hill. I don't think it's gonna work though, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Um, no, not quite. It's just that yeah, I don't really know exactly how the slopes are going to react, so maybe I should have put two super topspin on that. But at the same time, would I have super topspin that through the green if it if it got up there? I don't know. Uh, what I do know is I gotta alter his movement here a little bit, because I want to try and chip it in. And... Yeah, that looks good. It's nice and low. And I'll even topspin a little bit, just to give him extra... Eh, that's good chip, but I think it's going to end up being a tie overall. Yep, there we go. That is exactly what I thought. That's alright. 
Ooh, we're getting a better match from Yoshi than we have of any other character thus far. Well, I'll just say any other Mario character thus far. Uh, I'm gonna try and curve it around. And, oh, big miss hit to the left. That's okay, I think. It's just as long as it doesn't get too close to those cactuses. And it might have, but I might be able to curve it between those two furthest away cactuses. Or, I mean, cacti. Well, whatever. <laughs> whatever the plural is, I forgot. Oh, I was told it before, but I forgot. I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure it's cacti, though. Uh, anyway, uh, Yoshi's got a weave his ball through a bunch of cacti, and... uh-oh. Well, that's alright, I guess. I think he's gonna have a shot at the green. But yeah, this is what I mean about my shot. I'm gonna have to do some shenanigans to get it there. Uh, oh, that's... that might be a little too risky, so I'm just gonna aim... <laughs> Will that even... Uh, it looks like it's going right through a cactus arm. Like, how, how much room do I have here? Like, how much can I get away with? Uh, I'm, I'm better off hitting over there, in all honesty. Because I don't know how badly I'm gonna miss it. I don't know how close I was coming to the cactus and the other one. And I am not getting on the green in two, based on my position anyway. So, wherever my ball ends up over there, even if it's in the rough, as long as there isn't anything in front of me, it should be just fine. Uh, hmm. Well... Uh, the rough lay is the, the rough lie is gonna. Oh, jeez, that's gonna cause him a lot of ire. Oh, mm. and I was having so much faith in Yoshi, but alas, alas, my faith is just being completely demolished. And just no backspin or anything like that. Just want to kind of lob it up there and let the fast green do its thing. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, double bogey on par five? Double bogey on a par five. Double bogey on a par five in Mario Golf. How? How? <laughs> I'm gonna try and curve it in, and hope for the best. Hopefully I'll get a good strike on it. Well, it's gonna go a little bit to the right, which is all right, I guess, as long as it doesn't knock too much power off it. Oh, it did. Well, eh, that was my own fault for mishitting with such a haphazard character. But, but, it keeps things interesting. That's even worse than my shot. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even say it's interesting, in all honesty, and it's... Oh, oh. By the way, the, the star characters do play a whole lot better in their matches, so... That will be a thing to look forward to. And I'm just gonna kind of let it run over to the hole, hopefully... Yep, chipping it in. <laughs> oh, very nice. And, and, and... Uh, I don't want to get Tiny in trouble, but if I don't hit up there somewhere, I think he's going to end up being in trouble. So, power shot it is, and, oh, miss hit that a little bit. So it's going to slice over to the right, but I don't think that'll hurt him too badly. Um, yeah, that'll be okay. I still got a clear shot to the green. The only issue will be my impact area will be a lot smaller, and thus I'll have to be more precise with my shot. But, well, when isn't it small when you're using Tiny? <laughs> That's why I always say in the character stats to raise them so that you get the impact and control area nice and large. Because everyone miss hits, you just want to minimize how badly those miss hits turn out to be. And I think Yoshi is behind the cactus. I am too, but I don't have nearly as much of a trouble. I got a good lie, so I can actually hit a wood out of it. Uh, but if I miss hit, I think it's going to miss the green. And I didn't miss hit, so that's not going to miss the green. In fact, it'll be pretty close to the hole. Uh, yeah, that's pretty decent. 
No, uh, maybe not as close as I thought. I thought I was gonna get up to that slope, but th I think the the slope kicked it way far more left than I thought it was going to. How did she get around that cacti? What <laughs> cactus? What cacti? There's only one cactus, not more than one. I've got cacti and cactus on the mind of grammatically correct all the time now. Alas, it's windmill and lighthouses all over again. Only. Only, at least they're somewhat related. <laughs> um, that's a pretty good putt, yeah! <laughs> nice one, Yoshi, but not nice enough. Because I can two putt to victory. I moved that pretty far to the right, as you've seen there, because there's a lot of slope going on here. Ooh, it didn't... Well, I mean, it curved after the hole, but... Maybe it's because I hit it a little too much? Maybe? <laughs> nah, that, that's generally the speed that I would want to hit past the hole with. Uh, but it was just a thing of that I overread the break. Now, nah, oops, I think I'm gonna try... I should curve it left to right instead and try and get it out in the opening there. And, oh, no. Well, that, that'll be okay, I guess. Miss hits will probably put me in the bunker over there. Oh, no. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I think I can work with that. Hiccup, excuse me. <laughs> hmm. 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 I don't think that was the wisest of plans. Because he could get up there with a driver, and then he'd have a height advantage over the, the cacti. So... Now he's got to kind of do a last-ditch effort to get somewhere. <laughs> All right, let's see what I can do, though. I'm going to try and plop it on the green, with a, bounce it past the hole, and then pull it back with backspin, preferably. Oh, that's a beautiful strike. Look what can happen when I concentrate. <laughs> let's watch it pull back, watch it pull back. Oh, it didn't pull back that much. In fact, it didn't really pull back at all. <laughs> There's definitely a slowing effect going on there, though. So the backspin still had an effect. Like, I wouldn't I wouldn't trust my ball to stay on the green with the fast fairway tournament greens uh, without any sort of backspin, so... Yeah, I don't have to move the cursor at all, by the way. <laughs> so that's... Even hitting that far past the pin is uh, still birdie town, as long as it's on the flat spot. Now this one I gotta be pretty precise with. I gotta get somewhere down within a line of the, the cactuses, like between the cactus line. Like this one right here, I wanna be... Yeah, somewhere right there, because I don't. I want his shot to move around them. And you, as you've seen, he's got a draw, so I wanna be more on the right side... I mean, excuse me, on the left side of any cacti obstructions that uh, you know, uh, that may or may not be in my line if I'm going through a tunnel so that I can curve it to the right side of the tunnel and then curve it, you know, curve it back over to the left. But it's just a character trait thing to plan for. Uh, I think it'll be just fine. Yoshi, on the other hand, just doesn't seem to be able to handle this. I think it's because it's the drive distance he's having such issue with. But, well, well... That's how things roll, I guess, for regular and not star characters. And anyway, I'm gonna try and get this on, despite my miss hit. And... Yeah, that'll work. Because Yoshi is going to get up and down for par, probably, so... Chances are, I will one-putt that. And if I don't, it's still not that big of a deal, because tying isn't that big of a deal, especially when you're so far ahead. <laughs> uh, you know, it's amazing. Yoshi can fling eggs with the greatest of ease and high accuracy, but just can't hit the ball where he wants it. <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna go with that sort of trajectory. I'm gonna hit into the mound to slow it down with a little backspin. And that should get me relatively close to the hole, but I gotta hit it right, so I don't think this is gonna turn out okay. 
Yeah, that, that's not a very comfortable spot. And that went a lot further left than it would have if I had a better impact engine and control. Uh, so that, 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 that's a lesson you could learn even in uh, uh, regular golf, is that strike matters a whole lot. Like getting the hang of getting your strike as good as possible, because it, your clubs, no matter how good they are, aren't going to help you if you're shanking it. <laughs> That's all right for an approach, but is it enough to beat or say match my putts? We shall see. I think you can do some fringe here, plus it's uphill, so I overhit it by quite a bit, and that, that slope did not affect the putt nearly as much as I thought it would. Eh, eh, well, perhaps we'll actually have a tie. No! <laughs> oh, man. Oh man, I think that's even, I thought I was going to say, I think it's even further away than my ball was. I moved this smidge to the left, because there's still a lot of slope going on there. And par wins. <laughs> oh. oh, should I cross the lake of death? Maybe. This is probably a bad idea, but let's try it for fun. And, oh my Arceus! <laughs> that bunker is going to slow me down nicely, and then I'll just end up in the fairway. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. But geez, that's not a good sign for Yoshi. That fairway isn't very hard to hit if you have the drive distance for it, because it's a pretty pretty good chunk out there. But uh, to new players, that's a pretty scary spot to hit to, because you've got the water all around it, you've got cactuses if you're too close to the tip left, there's the bunker if you're short, and also water if you're very, very short, so you got to have a lot of confidence here in Tiny to go for that. And I could have very well been in the water if I mishit that because of Tiny's impact, but eh, eh, eh. I'm so far ahead that I'm just kind of making do with making some fun out of things. <laughs> uh, that's an okay position, all things considered with how he was doing that. But I think if I put my ball down in that little, little slopey hole there, with a little backspin, I should be able to make my putt back up the hill for a bird, well, an eagle, but, well, now it's going to be a chip-in for eagle, possibly. <laughs> but it's because of my miss hit, you know, the strike thing. So yeah, I gotta, gotta work on that. You can, you can figure out your strike just by, like, like, I'm talking about real life here, by putting something on the face, like some sort of powder, some people like foot spray, and uh, stuff like that, uh, put a fine mist of powder, and then you'll be able to see where you're impacting the ball. Or if your balls tend to rub off on the club, you can see where, you know, they're, they're rubbing off the club, or hit balls out of the rough, you know, you'll have that pinch between the ball and the rough, which will end up transferring over to the club, and then you just clean it up between shots to see uh, where your other strike was. You know, you just keep going like that in your practice sessions. And uh, unfortunately, I missed my chipping, but since I got it on the green in two, that's still a birdie, so... One to win, and uh, I'm gonna actually play it back for once, because that's a terrible landing area for Tiny. In fact, there's really no landing area for him there, because there is there's a little pot bunker, there's a, a slope that leads you to fairway that will probably push you into the rough. And if you overhit it, there's bunker, and yeah, so I'm just, just going to hang it back there behind the pot bunker and have a good time with the hole. <laughs> Yoshi, however, is not having a good time. You know, I wonder how the last character will fare on the Lynx course, because you, you'll notice I'm going through the uh, the characters, the regular characters in order here, and the Lynx course is a huge step up from uh, the Dunes course in terms of difficulty. So I, I'm, I'm wondering if I shouldn't just put them on an easier course or something to maybe give them a better shot, but then again, since I'm gonna go through the uh, star characters anyway, uh, it probably doesn't matter all that much because I'll be coming back to them with a more even match, I guess you could say, power-wise. But yeah. Um, 
Maybe what I should have did also was, uh, rather than going through the club champs and then the old characters that you played as in the last game, uh, I should have went by drive distance, like lowest drive distance first, and then working up to the higher drive distance characters. Uh, you know, like for the harder matches, but eh, I don't need. It's fine. <laughs> Nice! Look at that! But a double bogey. <laughs> I'm gonna try and chip it in, as you would expect. And I think I got the line lined up. Because it's right behind the pin. So, ah, oh, missed! But I still have two shots to win. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna miss this putt, though, for par. So that means I have won the match. Woo! Oh, Yoshi. So much time was spent watching you just flounder around. <laughs> Star Yoshi has been unlocked, though. Which is my favorite of the Mario characters to play as. You know, the Star version of Yoshi. Because he's got all the control of the, you know, the regular old Yoshi, but more drive distance. So you can do a whole lot with Yoshi and still manage to keep under control on said missits. Woo! But anyway, with that, I'm ending off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next part.